Leaders take responsibility for the problems that no one else wants to touch. Leadership is holding yourself accountable. Leadership is doing what must be done. Who's the leader that let this happen? I'm the leader who let this happen. I walked away from my hose. I walked away from a fire that was under control. I walked away from a hose that I was pointing right here. I walked away from a hose where we had seen flames in the woodwork above the mantle. I went to the second floor. I'm responsible for pulling back the floor trim and noticing that I could see flames below. I'm responsible for not when I went to the attic. And saw no flames. I'm responsible for not spraying it with fire extinguishing foam. I'm responsible. I am accountable. We had a fire in this fireplace, that's all. We had a fire contained in this fireplace. We extinguished it and I could see it behind the mantle and I extinguished it. We removed everything from the mantle. That was the carport. We moved the car out of the carport so that they could bring their hose in or at least take the hose that I had and continue to extinguish the source of this fire. I am the leader who failed. I am the person who walked away from my hose on a fire. I went somewhere over here and then over here to where the kitchen was to make sure my spouse was getting the cats out safely. The six firefighters who arrived and were assessing the scene seemed okay with my, I don't know what they're okay with, but I know that it was right here in this kitchen where it used to be that the deputies threw my spouse out of the house and nearly threw me out while leaving our cats inside the house. I am responsible for not standing my ground and allowing them to arrest me. I am responsible for not saying, go ahead and arrest me. If this is what you're going to do at a fire where every hand is needed, and instead you're going to threaten to arrest me, I'm responsible for not letting that happen. But what good would have come had I been in the back of a police car? Would I have been able to stop this? No. Would I have been able to document it? Absolutely. Leaders take responsibility for problems that no one else wants to address. And this is a problem. I am responsible. 
when our fire department went from being all volunteer to municipal, I'm responsible for not going and asking if they needed anything. I'm responsible for not asking how long it would take to refill a pumper truck. I'm responsible for not asking how many thousands of gallons are required to fight an average fire. I'm responsible for not asking how many firefighters do you have on staff. I'm responsible for not asking why did you not buy the equipment from the former volunteer fire department? I'm responsible for there not being a hook and ladder in our county, even though we have structures that require one. I'm responsible for that picture you might have seen right there, where there was a hook and ladder from Hinesville, but no water. I at least was able to tell them where to try to park and try to help. I am responsible for assuming that the people that we pay taxes to and that are licensed professionals are capable. But in the three weeks and five days since this house finished burning, we have had no contact despite all the requests we could make of any authority or elected official or any fire safety official to provide some guidance on what to do next, how to safely go through. Is there a documentation? Is there a manual? What happens usually? I am responsible for this. This was my failure. What are you responsible for?